Hi everyone, I'm going to show you our AI features today. So let's begin with chats. Obviously, Capacities is a note-taking tool, so there is writing everywhere. And if there is something in particular that you'd like to dig in with, with the help of AI, what you can do is select either blocks or text and look for this AI button. It will always be purple. And if you do that with selected text, you'll get this pop-up, which we call the AI panel. You can use it for very different things. So have a look at the list of options that we have and you'll quickly start to find the things that you use the most. And here, for example, I'm just going to use explain this to just give me some more information about this particular highlighted section. When you do that, you get these options of what you want to do with it. So you can add the answer to this to your note with this append button. You can just copy it. You can retry it. You can replace this whole highlighted section with what's left or like I want to do right now, you might want to develop the thinking with AI. So to do that, click on chat and that's going to open it up in the AI chat window, which means you can just keep asking questions. You still get the options for all of the different actions. So once you have got something you'd like to work with, you can choose what to do with it. So I've added this to my systems thinking note to help me out later. If you add AI authored text, when you click on it, it will tell you that it's AI generated so that you know. These chats can be as long or as short as you would like. And you can also go back and rephrase a question if you want to adjust the prompt a little bit more. Now, as you are using these AI chats, you might find that it's actually really helpful and you want to keep it for later. In that case, hover over the AI chat and you'll see this button called save as object. And what that's going to do is create an AI chat object, which takes the whole discussion that you have had and saves it. When it's saved as an object, you can name it and you can tag it with whatever you'd like to tag it with. But it also means that you can continue the conversation. And this is an important distinction because once you have closed an AI chat, unless you save it, it goes away. So that AI chat saved as object is to allow you to come back to it at any point. These chats are also indexed by search. So if I search for Lego, which is not something I've written about elsewhere, I will find this chat as well, which can be really helpful if you have lots and lots of chats. If you want to get straight to that AI chat in the future, just use that command J shortcut that you saw or click on this button here in the sidebar. And that opens a blank chat. So you can use this for anything, not just about what's on the left side of the screen, but anytime the chat can see context, it will let you know that you can add it as context if you want. And that means that it already knows what's on this page and you can just go into asking your questions specifically right away. It's not just note taking that you can do this for. You can also ask for a trip planning exercise and you can see from this really basic prompt that it can already see that I just want a trip for these dates and it's very short to London. And it's asking me a little bit more information, but still giving me an option because it can see this note, even though it's not got really anything in it as context. I could save that and refer to it later. It's not just the AI chat on the right hand side that you can use as well. You can also use AI within your actual notes. So if I do my prompt and say forward slash ask AI, it will create a packing list in the block underneath. So obviously it's very generic because I haven't added much information, but that's still there for me to use. You can also use AI with properties. So if you go onto the six dots and then edit property of most of your properties, you will see this AI autofill option and you can just toggle it on for it to do what it thinks is best. But you can also add instructions if you would like to alter things and make it more specific. Once you've added that AI autofill, you'll get this button with that same icon that we use everywhere. And if you click on that, that will review all of the content that it knows to look for. So in this situation, it would be people and apply the best fit. I'll show you with another property here and it will apply again the best fit. If you have lots of AI autofill properties, instead of clicking each one, you can also click fill properties at the top and that will add as much information as it can, which includes the description, tags, collections, and then any of the individual properties that you have toggled AI autofill on for. As always, review the answers that AI gives you and decide specifically what you want to keep in your capacities space.